Alrighty, what is up guys? Today is January 19th, 2019. And uh, tonight I'm making this little video to give you guys an update on uh, where the fire alarm hobby is at. I'm very pleased to announce tonight that Project Fire Alarm is back underway in a uh, new location. I'm uh, over here at my mom's, of course. I've got this stuff all uh, set up in the basement, and as you guys can see, it's uh, <laughs> I have everything set up uh, pretty much the same as I um, did before when I was at my dad's house. Everything I have here is pretty much the same. I have the uh, 4005 and the two uh, annunciator panels, uh, and the rest of the collection is in these two bins. So all my fire alarm stuff I have down to these two bins. Uh, for the moment, but pretty soon I'm hoping to I'm hoping to change that. I'm keeping my eye out on Craigslist for a couple uh, shelving units that I might be able to put around here somewhere um, to kind of um, store all the alarms and everything, and you know bring some organization um, to this whole thing. Right now, all this stuff is. Um, really not hooked up. None of this stuff over here is hooked up at the moment. I'm currently um, in the process of kind of deciding what I would like to do with this stuff, you know, because obviously I um, don't want to keep it on the floor forever, so I'm not sure if I'm thinking of... I'm going to be thinking of doing some kind of a, a demonstration board or something like that, or if I'm going to get a table or get a, a, big, a big wooden board or something like that, I can mount all this stuff to, but uh, this whole thing is a kind of a it's kind of a work in progress. Um, the 4005 uh, still works just fine. I just have not uh, wired everything back up to it yet. And uh, to be honest, this panel is kind of on the back burner right now. It, uh, it, it still works. Like I said, everything on it still works. The only thing is I still have a persisting uh, ground fault uh, on it, and uh, which I believe to be caused by the power supply. So... If I want to get this thing completely trouble-free, I'm going to need to purchase a new power supply for it, which uh, uh, that'll happen at some point. But like I said, right now, um, the 4005 is kind of on the back burner because I decided to get myself a little uh, a little late Christmas present, and that is right here. That's right. I um, got myself... A Simplex 4010 finally decided to uh, join the Simplex 4010 club, go addressable, and uh, you know explore new um, new bounds. You know explore some new technology in this hobby. Um, I had not initially planned on getting another panel because the 4005 has been doing a very good job. It's been serving me uh, very well, and, and like I said, you know for the hundredth time, it still works. Uh, just fine. Um, the thing is, I was I was going through some YouTube videos over the Christmas break. You know, I uh, this year being a new year, I really wanted to um, get started back into the fire alarms because I uh, had them put away for a long time. Um, you know, for for most of last year, they were put away, and um, you know, I, I just really wanted to get back into the hobby and start making videos again. And I. Uh, I thought, what a better way to uh, do that than to start off the year with a new panel. And uh, normally I would have not gotten myself a 4010, but I saw this thing pop onto eBay. Um, I'm not sure how long it had been on there. It looks like it had just been posted, but uh, the guy wanted only uh, 200 for it, and there was a um, make offer button, so I went ahead and offered him um, 125. He made me a, a counter offer. Um, I think of 175, I made another counter offer of 150, so uh, and he accepted that. So I ended up picking up this uh, 4010 for a sweet 150 dollars, which um, you know this panel is uh, this panel was discontinued in 2014. It's still a fairly new um, addressable fire alarm control panel, and uh, you know I've seen these things go for a lot more than that, anywhere between you know, two hundred fifty to three hundred fifty dollars. So a hundred fifty was an absolute steal for this panel. I took a sort of a gamble 
by buying this panel. It came from an electrical uh, surplus warehouse in Indiana. And the last time I bought from an electrical uh, surplus warehouse uh, sale was the, that was the 4005 and I ended up getting screwed on it because pretty much every component on the panel was um, destroyed by what I suspect to be a, a lightning strike. So I kind of took a gamble uh, when I bought this panel. I didn't know if it would work or not. I expected it to work, but, um, you know, I did, didn't even really expect it to work. I just kind of kind of bought it for the price that I did and kind of hoped it would have uh, worked. And it turns out it actually uh, works just fine. I skipped uh, making videos up until now, up until I figured out how it works and everything. And um, here it is, the case, the front is in uh, the the front door is in pretty poor condition. It's got scratches and uh, it's got that wonderful tearing in whatever uh, whatever this is right here. And it's missing the key lock. I actually have a key lock for it on the way, which I hope should work. Besides the cosmetic condition, though, this thing is actually uh, really darn nice. Like I said, I didn't actually expect it to work, and uh, it it actually does work 100% based on the testing I've done came with the uh, uh, dress panel and everything and uh, I even got some added bonuses it came with uh, a whole pack of um, end of the line resistors which was nice it's always nice when you get those free and everything and it, it, it came with everything I uh, I needed to get started and the rest was just um, you know going on to YouTube uh, watching YouTube videos um, reading the manual for this thing and uh, it's pretty much all set up and ready to go so like I said I'm I'm very happy I, I made a very good choice with this uh, I, I didn't like I said I didn't expect it to work being you know it was from an electrical surplus warehouse it could have come from anywhere it could have been struck by lightning and the CPU the SFIO board could have been blown out on it but uh, like I said so far this thing seems uh, to be pretty darn good with uh, Everything I've, you know, everything I've uh, done to it and everything, I've knocked it down to only one trouble, and that's just because I don't have batteries for it, so. Um, the only thing that is new, really, besides the panel, is this thing that just came in the mail today. Um, I actually had to buy this in order to uh, get this panel to work, since this is an addressable panel, which uses the ID nut devices. I got a Simplex uh, 4099 9003 ad addressable um, ID net pull station. Uh, it was either I buy this or an, an ID net, uh, module, and I, I, I kind of want to start out with an actual, um, addressable device with the module on the back, so if I, if I, I want to use anything else with this panel, I'm going to have to get one of those, um, uh, ID net modules, but they're very cheap. I found one for, like, nine bucks on eBay, so that's pretty good. So, right now I have it all set up. It's, uh, it's turned on. Everything's uh, working just as it should be. I tested it, um, and it's all configured for this um, this setup I have. I'm not going to be testing it tonight. Hopefully, I'm going to be testing it on video in a couple days. Um, this is just the beginning of what I'm uh, hoping to do with this this whole system. Um, now that I have the 4010, I'm hoping to. Um, tie it into the 4005. I have to get a separate power cable for the 4005. Um, like I said, I do plan on getting a new power supply for it, clear all the troubles, hopefully get um, get batteries for both panels, uh, get them both trouble free, and then tie them together in a um, you know tie them together via um, relays. So when I activate, when one panel goes into fire alarm, the other one will. I've seen that done with a 4005 and a 4010 before, so I uh, know it's possible. I mean, I know it's possible with really any panel, but, um, so yeah, but that's, uh, that's my new panel. I'm sure you guys didn't expect that, you know, but I'm, I'm very excited. Like I said, I'm hope after I get the collection shelves, the shelves to put my collection on and everything and start to get this thing organized, like I said, I'm really not sure what I'm going to be doing with it yet. Uh, with all this stuff because I do want it to be a little bit more exciting and you know maybe actually be able to spread some devices out get some smoke detectors and actually have uh, you know uh, the thing you know function as an actual um, life safety slash 
hobby system, but I really don't know. So hopefully uh, I can start up the f floor um, system test videos in a couple days. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you for watching tonight, and uh, that'll be it.